speak out. Through what? Through witchcraft. How, how, how do you operate through witchcraft? How do you torment her life, her family, her relationships? You deceive. Through which ways? How do you deceive? Speak to her. You speak to her. Speak to them. All you speak to them. How do you destroy her health? She's been sick. She's very sick. What sickness did you give to her? Her joints. Her joints? Yeah. How else do you destroy her life? How do you destroy her career? She doesn't have one. She doesn't have a career. She's not going to have one. She's not going to have a career. How do you destroy her relationships? Oh, she doesn't have any relationships. She doesn't have any relationships. How, how many generations ago did you enter her life? Many, many. Many generations. Many, many she's mine. You made the greatest mistake of allowing her to come to this Race to Deliver conference. She's going to be set free in Jesus' mighty name. Out 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 in Jesus' mighty name. Spirit of witchcraft in her body. And then out in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. I declare you free in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What happened to you here? Um, you know what happened to you? Um, right now, I was fighting. I was fighting. Was that you or was that the demon in you? It's, it's a blur. It's a... Okay. What, what, what would be happening in your family, in your life? Can you, can you testify? I've had arthritis since I was 12. And um, I've tried, I'm, I was starting to um, start my career, but it was not going well. Okay, so the cause of that, the demon has caused that sickness and the stagnation is out and Jesus Christ has entered your body and you're free in Jesus' name. Wave your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. My name is Gwendolyn Albright Dikumagenge and I'm from South Bend, Indiana. I've had uh, arthritis in my knees for the past 10 to 12 years of my life and I have recently felt pain in my back and other joints so that was not cool um, and also I, I was at the edge of studying my career and I, can, I could see that I was getting very tormented in that so it was not going anywhere. Before prayer line, I felt uh, during worship, worship when they started praying, I felt like I was about to vomit, like I wanted to vomit or something was going on inside of me. And then when pastor kept saying, you know, let's say out, out, when I say out so many times I lost my balance and I fell and then I was brought to the, to the front. Um, then they prayed for me for the first time and I felt lighter. And then I went on the prayer line the second time, just escorting my friend. And that's when they prayed over me. I started manifesting more. I've always struggled with uh, relationships as, as long as I can remember. My family uh, was falling apart. It was kind of coming back together, but for the longest it was falling apart. And I, I've, I struggled with loneliness, with depression, with... Uh, um, self-worth um, I didn't I, I felt worthless and I felt like I couldn't do anything I would always I struggled with offense I struggled with unforgiveness so yeah it was a lot right now I feel both lighter and stronger it's a very I don't know how to explain it but it's like I, I can run and I can also fly I've wanted this ever since I knew it could be happening and I am so thankful for Jesus to his faithfulness and I would encourage anybody that is going through a lot or uh, is looking for hope, Jesus is the hope and he is faithful to give you what he promised.